good afternoon. So today we've come to Bradgate Park. It's a place I've been to uh, a little while ago. Um, took some nice deer images. Uh, so we come back to see if we can find the deer. Potentially it's getting to rutting season now, so we might find the deer rutting as well. Um, so hopefully we might get some nice images. So we're going to have a walk around and see what we can find. So let's go. So up on the hill behind me, right up on the far end up there, um, you can see a bit of a monument, but there's a main path up there and it looks like there's some deer actually right by the path. So I'm going to head up that direction and see if we can get closer to the deer. Just started to walk up the hill and uh, just spotted a stag just sitting down in the grass. I think just to the left of the stag is a couple of uh, females by the look of it. Yeah, that's a really good stop. So we found the deer, which is uh, what we came for. So we've got this stag just over here beautiful just lying there um, you can probably just about see it on the video um, looking very relaxed I mean he's it looks like he's half asleep as his eyes starting to close um, but you still need to give these animals respect because you know they are wild animals they are used to people around here um, but you know you do hear that sometimes um, they will decide to uh, to have a little go back sometimes so you've got to give them a wide berth give them some respect and really don't crowd them you know even though it's very tempting to get right up close um, because they look so docile you don't want to be doing that to be honest uh, as I say there are used to people around here um, which which does give a bit of a bit of a bonus because they're not too you know they're not going to run away as soon as they see you um, yeah a fantastic creatures absolutely stunning animals I don't know if you can hear the stag bellow in there. There's a couple of photographers up on the hill the far side and I think he's uh, just warning them off a little bit. Let's go and see if we can get a little bit closer. Just going to move up a little bit just behind this next tree just so we don't spook them too much So we're just sitting here watching these deer. Uh, Susie, who's with me today, has just uh, pointed out that um, there's a kestrel hunting just hovering low over the ground. And it's just gone up into the tree over the far side at the moment, sitting there. So that's quite interesting to watch as well. But uh, I think we're just going to sit and watch the deer here. There's a few photographers around this area, so um, I would imagine there's not too much else around. But uh, most of the deer seem to be congregating here. So we're just going to sit here. Um, 
get some images off these and get some video off these dear uh, yeah and hopefully we should get something decent out of it so uh, as I always say it's patience you know just sit around don't go chasing stuff and certainly don't go chasing these around because they'll, they'll chase you back if, if you do so uh, so just uh, sit quiet sit patient and just uh, you know let the images develop from it really We're just watching this very proud looking stag. He's just bellowing out a little bit just to show he's got his females around him and I guess to keep keep all the other stags at bay. But uh, again another amazing animal. Just look at that amazing creature. He really is a handsome looking beast. No wonder he commands all the females around here by the looks of it. He seems fairly chilled out, fairly relaxed. Occasionally gets up, chases a female around, then just lays down again, just to survey his area. So what you can see down here, we've got a male with all these females behind him. And as you can hear, he's uh, marking his territory. And it looks like up to the left, we've got the young males up here on the hillside. They're just basically keeping out of the way. And definitely too young to mess with him at the moment. But uh, yeah, he's definitely got his, uh, his harem down there.
that's about it from Bradgate Park. Uh, yeah, really fortunate when we found the deer, probably within 10-15 minutes. Um, they always seem to be in the same place when we came last time, they were in a similar place, so uh, that's really good. Um, so there was a the big stag up there that was definitely defending his territory um, and disappeared over the ridge uh, as, as we left. But great place to come if you want to see the deer, if you want to photograph deer, absolutely great place. Just as I say, show them respect, don't get too close, um, you know, be safe with it, definitely. Um, so that's about it for me again today. Um, don't forget, if you're new around here, great to have you subscribe, so uh, click the subscribe button for me. And uh, also if you can click the thumbs up to like the video, that'd be great as well. And whatever you do, have a great day, and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.